afternoon working on something a little different today i know we've been trying to keep up with that uh barn fine bit but hit a little bit of a snag and need a couple days to work her out so we're gonna look at this today this is a 06 or 07 ford taurus came from the same place the buick did but this one hadn't been sitting up for 10 years this one was parked for a year year and a half uh, gentleman passed away and uh, his family went to move it from out in front of the street and put it in the carport with the Buick and they rolled the windows down and then the car died and they couldn't get the windows back up and as you can see I got the windows up now was I jumped it off and rolled them up but the windows on this car were down for that year and a half in the carport with animals and birds and lord knows what else in there and I already vacuumed most of the bad stuff out of there, but the smell is still pretty strong. And uh, we're gonna soak the seats down with some cleaner. And I think we're gonna focus on getting this layer of crap off this dashboard. I'll take you inside and show you all this here across the top. Looks like the old man tried to use some house paint because it's just peeling off like latex paint, trying to fix where it's uh coming off the doors there and the roof and everything my plan is to scrape it all off and just paint the hood and the roof black i don't know what to do about the doors yet i was thinking about putting a black stripe down it it's something nice and cheap uh the car's got low miles i think it'll be a good driver but we'll see what happens i'll show you this inside here after a second and go sit down in it all right taking you in for a close-up look at the inside the front two windows are what was down i shot back it out you can see there's a little bit of a layer going on here. The real layer is up on the dashboard. It's pretty dirty, nasty. Got a good layer of film on it. Uh, there was a bunch of crap all in the seats in this thing, and I, I vacuumed it out. I wasn't planning on making any content on this car, but like I said, since we hit a snag on the other one, we're going to take a look at this one. Here's a closer up look at this uh house paint this guy used on the roof i guess just went ahead and did the whole thing and uh only part of the the front there that's not bondo or anything like that that's latex house paint and uh duct tape had some duct tape in there too uh could show you the strands over here you can see the the duct tape that was on there not sure why they did that but i put a hot battery on it and it fired right up even after sitting for a year and a half and heck i think the ac even works so let me get my cleaning products i'm gonna sit down in here and show you what we're doing all right we're in the car and there was something up on the dash i don't remember what this piece of trash had all that dirt under it it's just real thick with crust and you can see the animal hair there on the seat i don't know what kind of animal was in here i think raccoons and cats Thank goodness there, there wasn't too much like, you know, excrement or poop or none of that stuff. So didn't have to clean up a lot of that, but it smells like they were living in here. I can tell you that. And the steering wheel's pretty, pretty grody. I'm gonna clean that up too. For cleaning goodies, we got, I'm gonna try two different things. Got this Tough Stuff foam cleaner, multi-purpose. And I'm sure a bunch of y'all have some nice tricks for cleaning these hard messes. And I got this. This is the uh, same people that make Sprayway. It's a foaming glass cleaner. I use it to clean a lot of stuff more than glass. Probably not good for leather or nothing, but I don't think it's going to hurt this vinyl. It's ammonia free. So we're going to look at that. Now, the best thing to get a smell out of a car, believe it or not, go down to the dollar store and get you these dollar boxes of dryer sheets. And you see I got one up there and you just throw them up in the windows I got one in the back back there too and throw them up in the windows leave just open it don't take the sheets out of the box just open it throw it up let it bake in the Sun okay and that is just leave the car closed up for a couple days it's your best friend okay and then to add on top of that we got some little Dollar Tree Odo band and we're gonna soak these seats down when we get done cleaning this dash and just leave it to bake. I got two of these, so we're probably gonna empty a bottle in the front seat, bottle in the back seat, 
throw some in the carpet. And if that don't work, we're going to try these things. These little, uh, I guess they're little scent pucks that unscrew. I hadn't used these before, but uh, for a dollar for two, couldn't turn that down. Or a buck and a quarter now since uh, inflation has affected Dollar Tree. But I'm going to spray half, this half over here with the tough stuff and that half over there with the sprayway. And we'll see what happens get y'all in for a little spraying action sorry if my voice is muffled i'm wearing a face diaper didn't wear one for the whole uh you know epidemic but i'll wear one for sitting in this nasty car until we get her clean so let's get this soaked in here i don't care if it gets on the glass we're going to clean the glass last we're just going to soak this thing down even get in there on that instrument cluster I'm sure some of y'all are just cringing right now at the thought of that instrument cluster having something wet on it. I really do not care at this point. This car, is nothing's gonna hurt it if it didn't get hurt, leaving the windows open. And for the other side, we get this glass cleaner going. Get the lid off this thing, shake it up, and do a little comparison. Just let that soak in a little bit. Now, I will stay away from this radio and buttons with the spray. But, uh, you know, that's got a cover on it. I'm not worried about it too much. Now, you can see it's already starting to turn a little brown. Get back at you. I'm going to start wiping her down. Well, first layer of wipe down is complete. And there's that nasty, dirty diaper. This is just from right here. We, we didn't I sprayed the door, but we hadn't wiped the door yet. This is just This little section of dash right here and a little bit on the cluster and We're gonna soak all this stuff down two, maybe three times and do this over and over again And I'm gonna reapply the sprayway before we wipe over there I can't tell you this tough stuff's not as evaporating as quick as the sprayway is other than that I don't know yet. We'll find out All right, y'all about had it with cleaning today didn't show you the sprayway versus the tough stuff competition because there really wasn't much of one. The sprayway dried up too quick to do much with with this thick of dirt. I've used it for spot cleaning and other stuff. It was great for spot cleaning, but if you're trying to really soak something in and let the foam do the work, I think this stuff's all right. I don't know how much it was. I think I got it at Walmart or Dollar General. I bought it like a year ago for a different car and left it sitting on the shelf. Never messed with it, so about empty i've done all four door panels and they do not look perfect i'm not a detail guy and this is just to start to try to get the smell out of this car we're not trying to actually clean it at all ignore the fresh find auction truck back there i thought maybe some of y'all might see that all that logo's got to come off this thing just got home from the auction i've been putting around the house with it a little bit but yeah, we're gonna take the stickers and the letters all off of that. So just ignore that. You didn't. You didn't see it. Okay. We'll we'll talk about that truck on another video. Anyways, so cleaned up the door panels, front and back. Got all the crap off the dash. Cleaned up on that thing, and I'm gonna show y'all. Oh, hang on. That's all the dirties we've got so far. But I'm gonna show y'all how. I like to apply this Otoban when you got a smell situation like you do in this car. So let's go get it. I already applied it in the back, but I'm going to show you how to apply it in the front. Hang on. That stuff works good. I've used it in like furniture, bought at yard sales to get smells out and stuff. I ain't used it for no animal inhabitation smells before so this is really going to be a test after we lock this car up in the sun for a couple days but so take this Otoban right and we got this squish 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 cap now let's screw that and get rid of that right away think all right so you take your Otoban and you just give her a little slosh right all right we're gonna let that soak for a couple days we're gonna lock this car up in the hot sun and let it bake and let's go apply the driver's side. I 
All right, and this is for good measure here. So we're gonna apply the Odo band very liberally. Let's get all that goodness in here. There we go. Now, we've got a couple of them dryer sheets up there in the back window. That'll get some heat. And you can see through the front window here, we got another set of dryer sheets. And I thought I bought four, but I think I threw one in that truck the other day, so. We're just gonna let this thing cook for a couple of days and then we might start getting into some detailing. I think this weekend I'll take her down to the car wash and uh, try to blast some of this stupid latex paint off this thing. I don't know what they were thinking there. I, I would have let it rust before I latexed it. But anyway, y'all have a good day now.